Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil. Of course, every day is a train show. My name is DJ and this is... When I point to you, you say your name. Oh, you didn't tell me that. So I'm pointing to you. Oh, you pointing to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Engineer Hall. Thank you. There you go. It's not think... scripted. No, you just point and no, tell me, well, you know. No, well, we so I like to keep you on your toes, all right? Okay. And we're going to be taking a look at some new things that we hopefully will find their way on your layout. And I know everyone focuses on the trains, but you might not focus on automobiles. Well, if you're an NCL, check this out. I got some four trucks. Do you think these are built for tough? Built for tough. Maybe. Who knows? So these are the pickup truck set. I have it in three different colors. I have yellow, white, and orange. Let's take a look at the orange one here, for example. And I like the detailing on there. It looks like a nice like work truck. Maybe if you're like have a contractor or something, maybe you have a little construction scene, or maybe you just want to put this in some guy's house. Sorry. Right? So we got some neat trucks here that you can add to your layout. The retail value of these trucks is $32.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $22.99. And you know what? They get excellent gas mileage. And then probably what you're thinking is, you know what? I'm an end scaler. I want some cars. Well, we got you covered. Are you ready, ready Engineer Hall? I'm ready for it. Oh, let's take a look at some dry flow covered hoppers, shall we? Ooh. From Atlas. And believe it or not, everything we see today is all from Atlas. So these are a couple of these hopper cars that I have here. And guess what, Engineer Hall? Are you ready for this? Talk to me. I got multiple road names and I got multiple road numbers. Ooh. So if you really like that Wisconsin Southern, guess what? I have a couple of different ones for you to choose from. I like this green one here. Yeah, green is a good color for sure. But if we take a look at these cars up close here, like you're kind of doing already, well, let's take a look here at the Bakelite Plastics. Does that look good? I really like the design of these cars here, especially the roof detailing. Look at that. And if your car derails, look at that. That's even nice too. No, not like this. Like, shh. Oh, there right. You know. Okay. Is that how you derail them on your layout? Yeah, that's how it usually goes. Okay. Well, these are really nice looking cars here. They roll good too. And of course, if you are an end scale and you're looking for some modern freight cars to put on your layout, I highly suggest these. Now, the retail value of these cars are $46.95. But we're selling them here in Yankee Dabbler for $32.99. So I said, I said, if you're looking for a couple of different ones here, you want to get some different road numbers. And if you can actually see that small, the older I get, it's funny that the, I can't see the numbers anymore. Isn't that weird? Can you see a number somewhere? No, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it looked good when I was younger. I'm, I'm not really sure. Let me see if I can see it. Yeah, well, you're also zoomed in really much. Oh, no, no. This is not zoomed in. This is up close and personal. Anyway, so we have a whole bunch of these at Yankee Dabbler, and you're probably thinking, you know what? I need an engine to pull these. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. What do you have for us? Let's take a look at an NCL engine. We have an engine that we actually saw in our last show. However, instead of HSS, we now have it in N scale, and it's time for our Operation Lifesaver. Let's check out this engine here in N scale land. So, if you can see here, this is the 50th anniversary of the Operation Lifesaver. This is, of course, a GP40, and it is a great looking engine here. I was really, really liking this engine. What we saw it in HO, and the N scale version is just as awesome. I love the fact that it's the 50 number boards there. Uh, and again, this is just a great engine and engineer hall. It's gold. Golden eye. I, all right. Very good. So let's see what this engine sounds like in action. And I'll pull those dry flow cover hoppers that we just looked at. Now arriving, train number 50, Golden eye. Wow, that is a really cool looking locomotive. It was awesome in N scale, uh, HO, and it's also great in N scale. Now, the retail value of this engine here is $264.95, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $179.99. So, if you want to get something a little bit different on your layout, get that 50th anniversary Operation Lifesaver diesel rolling on your rails today. Now, I know some people out there might have a little bit of a hard time trying to budget out the money that they make for what they want for model railroading. So what I did is I actually came up with some helpful pie charts to show you how we at Yankee Dabbler actually 
divvy up our paychecks and our uh, uh, money that we make and what we use for living expenses and model railroading. So would you be interested to see some of these? That's great. That You know what? That'd be very interesting. All right. So I have Ken's pie chart here. Now, if you take a look, okay. he spends 10% of his earnings on utilities, okay. 10% on rent, right? 40% uh, on Lackawanna locomotives, and 40% on Erie locomotives. So, I mean... I don't know if he's really budgeting that out well. It looks well balanced. But, hey, 80% Erie Lackawanna locomotives. So, yeah, that's a lot. So we'll keep looking on these as the, the show goes on because some of them are very interesting. All right, speaking of interesting, we have some new hopper cars that we're going to take a look here. And we're going to go to HO Land and another Atlas item for you to take a look at. Let's check out these hopper cars, shall we? So we have here these thrall-covered hoppers here from Atlas. And I have a bunch of different variations for you to choose from. I particularly like this one here, the CATX, with a little kitty cat paw there. You like that? A little different. A little kitty cat. But I got a couple of different variations for your consideration here. And I got to bunch them up together based off of their colors that they have here. I like the red. I got a nice green one here, Burlington Northern. That's always an awesome looking one. And I have a couple of blue cars here, PV. Now, this is an X Rock Island. That's been patched over. And then I have here the DJTX. Oh, the D is this my railroad? That could be fun. I think you all need a bunch of DJ cars on your railroad. Now, these are really nice looking cars here. Let's take a look at that DJ car here. This must be a really good looking one too. So if you take a look here, I like the safety striping there. I have all the various different numbers, letterings, like die cast pedal wheels. Great looking car here. So if you're interested in these cars here, and check this out, again, I have a bunch of different road numbers, so if I'm interested in adding to the DJ Railroad, you can get a whole bunch of these. And the retail value of these cars is $33.95, or we sent them here in Yankee Dabbler for $23.99. So it's a great deal to get on these cars here, and I think you need some hoppers. It's kind of turned into a hopper show. So come to Yankee Dabbler and hop on in here so you can hop on out with some hoppers. It's a lot of hopping. You want to hop, hop, here you'd hop? Yep. So I got our pie chart here for you to take a look at. So again, if you're having a hard time figuring out how to space out your money, well, don't worry. I have here Engineer Hall's um, pie chart here to see his finances. So 15% goes to his motorcycle payment. 15% goes to his mortgage. 70% goes to Norfolk Southern Engines and Rolling Stock. Well, I got to be 70. Well, I mean, you know. I, I did the numbers. It actually was higher. But. And, and why? And 15 for motorcycle? Well, you're falling behind on that payment, but you got to get <laughs> hoppers. You got to get everything. Look, dude, I, I, I crunched uh, the numbers. That's what I came up with. Uh, all, right? all right. So, interesting. So, hey, speaking of other things that you might want to spend your money on, let's take a look at an Atlas diesel locomotive in HL. This is a U30C. So, I have here a bunch of different engines here. We're going to start off with that Pennsylvania Railroad. Then we're going to go to Conrail, Conrail Blue. Uh, one of my personal favorites, the Redding. I love that B-Line service there. We got the Seaboard Coastline, the Chesapeake and Ohio Chessie System. And then finally, I have here the Delaware and Hudson. Now, the U30Cs are really cool looking locomotives here. I particularly like this B-Line one here. So check this out, Engineer Hall. What do you see in the cab? Uh, engineer. What is he doing? He's uh, running He's the engine. He's running there the engine go. there. I love the uh, the front of this. And again, I have various different um, designs based off of the railroad. For example, as you can see, the Redding has the horns up on the cab, whereas some of these other uh, have it back here. This actually has four or how many is that? That's five horns. That has three. So, I mean, this is really neat, the little variations that they do on these uh, railroads. So, I think we should run one of these, Engineer Hall. So, which one do you think we should run? Which one do you think we should run, Engineer Hall? Pick me, pick me. Which one? Oh, Conro. All right, Reading it is. Let's go. All aboard the B-Line service here. Let's start her up, shall we? Hey, hmm. I thought I said Conro. All aboard the B-Line service. Is that what you're talking about? I would see you guys. I had the number boards that light up as well as the headlights here. Let's take a listen to the bell. The horn. Ooh. 
Let's get started, Engineer Hall. Back her up. Did I do it? Did you do it? Man, you're holding me back into the wall. Alright, here we go. You know, it's a great sounding engine, Engineer Hall, wouldn't you say? I do. It's pretty, yeah. sound pretty good. Yeah. We just have one on the track. I know, but why you look like that? We have others. Yeah, I know we do, but why you... Come on, don't... <laughs> what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What? We're the wall. No. Mm -hmm. No. Let's go! Now arriving, the Overkill Express. So, it is my opinion you need all six of these engines on your railroad. Now, the retail value of these engines is $299.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $199.99. So, Cool get to get on a cool diesel and you'll be the coolest person in cool town and everyone will be like, hey, that's a cool guy. So come to Yankee Dabbling. So a lot of great things here. Before we get to our recap, I have another financial hack that will help some of us maybe balance our budget. So I look for so I should look for you to be my financial advisor? Yeah, well, I don't know about this one. So Christian gave me his. Uh, all right, so he gave me 25, 24% things that go woo, 23% things that go beep. 48% train stuff, 19% railroad stuff. I don't know what the difference is there. 22% shiny things. 9% hot dog train. I don't even know what that is. 31% and stuff. 31% Thomas stuff. And 17% things that roll. This doesn't even add up to 100%. This is like 100 and something percent. I don't understand it. Me neither. But, uh, okay, check and tennis. That's a start. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm interested to see what a hot dog train is. Anyway, let's take a look at the you know, things that we saw in today's All Atlas show here, brought to you by, of course, Yankee Dabbler. So we have here from Atlas, we have this U30Cs that are really cool looking. They sound great. They roll great, too. I also have here these Thrall covered hoppers. And N-Scale Land. Hey, we actually have a show where N-Scale outnumbered eight show today. That never happens. We have here these N-Scale Ford trucks. 
we had here the Operation uh, Lifesaver 50th anniversary engine, and of course we had here these hopper cars for your consideration. But of course, if there was something that you didn't see that we have, well, that's all right. Just go on to our website, yankeedabloy.com, type in the search bar what you're looking for so we could get it shipped and sent to you so you can have hours of railroading fun. If you're not subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, what you're going to do is you're going to take your cursor, click that subscribe button, and get caught up with everything that we have here. We have... A what, what do we have, Engineer Hall? No, no, no. You forgot to tell them to hit the bell icon and select all to receive all notifications when we drop a video That's true. of and, our show. And you know, if anyone knows anything about bells, it's me, all right? So make sure you click that subscribe button. We're going to conclude with our rail fan video. We are going to go all the way to Indiana to see the Indiana Northeastern Railroad pull a grain train here. And Engineer Hall, I'm going to let you guess, all right? Okay. So do you think it had more or less than 100 cars? Ooh, grain, I'm say more. All right, so let's see if Engineer Hall is correct. And I want you all to count how many cars this have and type in the answer in the uh, in the comment section. You think people will do it? Uh, they love us. They should, right? That's true. All right, so make sure you do that, and we'll see if you're right or wrong. If he's right or wrong, I know the answer, but I'm not going to tell you. Wait, DJ, mm -hmm. you didn't tell us your financial plan. Oh, I have a really good financial plan, and it has kept me in marital harmony for years. Are you ready? I'm ready. So here's my plan. 20% uh, of my uh, income goes to train stuff my wife knows about, uh -huh. and 80% of it goes to stuff my wife does not know about it. So That's yeah. genius. Yeah, it's a good plan. Oh, my God, that's genius. Can yeah. I play with my new hot dog train? Where the heck did you get that? Don't worry about it. Don't tell Mike. I gotta go uh, take care of that. Christian, we shouldn't be putting food with our trains. Uh -huh. Ugh.